Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog and the MacBook Pro 16 inch is out. This is their newest, biggest, and best MacBook they've ever released. In this video, I want to go over 10 changes and key differences between every other MacBook Pro that Apple has ever made. Okay, so starting out with dimensions, and this wasn't something I initially thought had changed, but it certainly did. So last year's, or really just earlier this year's 15-inch MacBook Pro was 13.75 inches wide. This one is 14.09 versus 9.48 inches tall versus now 9.68 versus 15.5 millimeters thick and now 16.2 millimeters thick and 4 pounds in weight and now 4.3 pounds in weight. Overall, this machine has definitely gotten heavier, thicker, wider, and taller. Uh, none of these are drastic differences, but I do think that they will be noticeable to almost everybody who's making the switch from the 15 to the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Okay, two, configuration options have gotten a lot better. So the RAM goes up to 64 gigabytes now. Like that is ridiculous. That is so much RAM and not just more RAM, but it's faster. 2666 megahertz versus earlier in the year with 2400 megahertz RAM. So you're getting very fast RAM and storage goes up to to eight terabytes which is double what it was last year and that's just an insane amount of storage to have in a notebook but also pricing has gotten so much better for the storage to upgrade to one terabytes is two hundred dollars which i think is almost a given like you should definitely just do that 200 bucks for a machine is expensive for doubling the storage at this speed of storage is awesome two terabytes is plus 600 which is still a good price four terabytes is plus 1200 and eight terabytes is plus 2400 all of those are very fair prices because i've been getting some ridiculous speeds with this machine uh, as you can see on the screen upwards of 2800 megabytes per second read and write which is just stupid fast okay next the battery has gotten bigger and better so it packs a 99.8 watt hour battery inside which you've probably heard is the united states limit for air travel so it means you can still take this laptop with you on your planes when you're traveling obviously very intentional by apple and it's pretty much just the biggest laptop battery that you can find Apple's promising 11 hours of battery life with this, which is great. And this compares to last year's 83.6 watt hour battery. So this is a pretty hefty increase in battery capacity. Now also inside the box, now you get a 96 watt battery charger instead of the 87 watt previously. So it'll give you a little bit more power in order to charge up this via USB-C. And you also get color matching stickers inside the packaging, which is just sweet. I love that. So those are a couple of changes inside the box. Now, the microphone has also gotten upgraded with this machine. So Apple is calling it a high-performance microphone with a 40% reduction in hiss and a better signal-to-noise ratio, and that they're claiming this is studio quality. If you want to know for yourself, this voiceover actually is being recorded with the microphone on this computer, so you can hear exactly what this microphone sounds like. Okay, next, a new keyboard. So, of course, this is one of the big things they're talking about. This is the Magic Keyboard, and that's a dumb name because they're just going back to the old keyboard, essentially. It's got one millimeter of travel, and it's great. I really enjoy using it thus far as a redesigned scissor mechanism inside and more satisfying key feel. Uh, it's pretty much the best typing experience on a Mac because it's just going back to the basics. It also has the T-shaped arrow keys, which is nice, and this should be much better for keeping dirt, dust, crumbs, food, whatever, out of your computer. Now the display is 16 inches with the same pixel density that has always been there, which is 3072 by 1920 at 226 pixels per inch. It's a bigger screen, but pretty much everything else about it is the same, but obviously you're getting about 0.6 inches more screen resolution, which honestly isn't a huge difference, but it's the first time Apple's offered something more than 15 inches in a while since the 17 inch has been gone. Okay, and now there's also redesigned speakers. So Apple has completely redesigned six speaker high fidelity sound system designed to bring people who need music the most advanced audio experience possible. And I can definitely say that this just sounds better than the previous Mac. It's not a whole lot louder, but it definitely does have more bass and is a fuller sound, which is awesome. And also there's a redesigned cooling system and extra fans, which overall combined for a 28% better airflow, which is going to be huge because I had a lot of issues with my mid 2018 MacBook Pro with heating and, and air problems. And this should be great for keeping the Mac cool. So anyway, these are 10 changes and differences with the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Honestly, this is an incredible machine, but it also kind of just 
makes me wonder why it took so long for some of these features to be here. It seems like going back and then adding a couple things, it's the computer that I really wanted a year or two ago. Anyway, it's a great machine. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and comment any videos you want to see covered about this computer.